Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Clone Wars, you guys, and not just more Clone Wars. Today, we are kicking off the final season, season seven of Clone Wars, you guys. It has been a long and awesome journey, and I'm so excited that we're finally here. Um, I have a lot I want to say heading into this season, both kind of recapping the last few episodes I watched of season six and also just kind of giving you just a brief um, synopsis of kind of like where I'm at and what I understand about the season. Um, so I will get to that in a second because I do have just a few things I want to cover first. But first off, I just want to say if you are joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I am sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. If you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right, guys, before I fully recap the last two episodes I watched, I do just want to briefly say a few things about Season 7 of Clone Wars. I understand that... Um, the occurrences between season six and season seven are pretty vast. Um, I know that season six was, um, you know, like the final season of kind of, I guess we could say the original um, planned outcome for Clone Wars. So they thought they were done, I guess. Disney bought out Star Wars. And then season seven comes like way later. So for a lot of you, for any of you who watched, um, you know, current with the series, season six was like it for a while. And then along comes season seven. Now, I do understand that between in that time period, um, you know, there were stories released that kind of were like, OK, well, we never got to tell these stories on the show. Here are the stories we we're planning on telling for the remainder of our time. Um and I don't know if they told everything, but they told quite a bit, I guess. They told what they wanted to tell. And I understand that um, much of those stories exist in comic book form. I wanted to let you know I meant to do it before I started Season 7, but I think I have a little bit of time before a lot of that's going to be addressed in Season 7. I will be doing my best to check out those comics. I don't know if I'm going to make a separate reaction about it. It might just be something that I kind of fill you in on here in my intro. Like, hey guys, over the weekend I checked out, you know, this, this, and that comic. This is what I thought. I'm up to speed now. I really don't know what they're about. <laughs> I'm a, you know, I know that it's stuff that they didn't get to tell on the show. Um, so all that being said, my understanding is that when season seven comes along, like Disney gives them this opportunity to do season seven, and they're like, well, we kind of already told what we want to tell. So this is like a whole different story. So I'm really excited to see. Um, that was a lot of talking with the hands. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with this season. Um, I will be very excited to check out those stories as well. Um, and I, okay, so some of you might remember this. I saw a trailer for season seven way, way, way back. I, when I say way, way, way back, I mean like maybe two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Um, was planning on just watching season seven and didn't because I think just schedule stuff. And also I know there are a lot of you that were like, just watch the series all the way through first because it will mean so much more. And I'm like, well, I mean, I've, I've already seen the, the prequels and everything, you know, I'll just send you guys were like, mm, go watch the series. And so it took me a little while, but I got through the series and um, I haven't gotten through the series yet, but I got through six seasons of it. And so here we are. So I, I can't wait. I, I, honestly like I only remember a few things from the trailer and they're mostly like not big things so I won't go back and rewatch the trailer to refresh myself I'll try to go in like as knowing or remembering as little as possible um because I think it'll be more fun that way but uh, I'm really excited to see what they have here the last two episodes of season six were great um 
God, we got Mark Hamill. <laughs> we got Mark Hamill in there for a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute. I know that voice anywhere. Um, we got some really um, just kind of cerebral stuff with uh, Yoda and Dooku and even like a little what if, you know, when Yoda has that vision of like, oh, what if everything was just chill? And, and you know, I like that he actually had that little kind of um, scene flashback you know, thing with Ahsoka where she's like, you failed me. And I'm like, oh, so he, so there were, there were feelings about that. I think that was a really good way to address it because they, they kind of never talked about it again after that about Ahsoka. And I really was so mad at the way that, you know, the Jedi Council treated Ahsoka. Um, they were kind of like, well, yeah, we were kind of jerks, but like, you know, I mean, maybe it was, maybe it was all meant to be. Look at how much you've grown. It's like, no, guys, that has not even come close to being an apology. <laughs> like, please. So it was kind of cool to see that like Yoda, um, maybe even not really on the surface, but did deep down have these feelings about like, oh, wow, I could have done, I could have done better for Ahsoka. And it was, it was just a really fun pair of episodes or not pair. I think it went on for like three, but I watched a pair last time. So, um, it was really good and I liked it and I'm excited for the final season. And I can't believe I'm about to be done with the series in like a matter of weeks. It's really crazy. It feels like I've been, it feels like both the time has gone by really fast because we've been having so much fun, but also kind of like, I don't, I, I can't remember like a time when I wasn't watching this show now. I've been watching it for like a year, I think. Has it been a year? No, wait, it's been more than a year. It has to have been more than a year, right? Yeah, I think it's been more than a year. I think it's been like two years. I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, after 2020, <laughs> time just kind of had no meaning <laughs> for me after 2020. It's all just been like a blur. It's been like this was 2020 part one and 2020 year two. <laughs> I remember there was like snow and sun in between there somewhere. Other than that, I have no details. But anyway, um, yeah, guys, I can't wait. So without further ado, you've heard me talk enough. You didn't come here to see me talk. You came here to see me watch Clone Wars, the final season. Let's go ahead and get started on the premiere episode of season seven of Clone Wars. Let's go. The first time we use a tactic, it's very effective. The next, less so. In fact, the more we use a certain tactic, the less effective it becomes. Oh. We learn our tendency. But the losses we are experiencing on a Nexus are not commonplace. Exactly. Okay. Our attacks are so specific. It's my strategy that droids know. My playbook. My concern is that Rex is one of our best. If the droids. What's on your mind? Oh. Oh. We've lost so many friends. Five. <gasps> Before that heavy. So many troopers gone. So many we've lost. I didn't tell the generals. They might think I'm crazy. Uh oh. You might think I'm crazy. Oh, don't tell me what he's having. <gasps> I think Echo's alive. That's not possible. What? He died at the center the strategies I'm using. They're all old battle plans Echo and I drew up together. Look, that's probably because that's it's probably because Palpatine. Or is it? Really? Oh my god, yeah, the animation definitely looks better. Whoa! Oh my god! Are they like a little reckless, maybe? Are they like slightly re- it looks like they're very reckless. Experimental unit clone force 99. Okay. The defective clones with uh, desirable mutations. With desirable eh? mutations. Uh, nice touch. Okay. They call themselves the Bad Batch. The, I wonder if this is what the show is based on. The Bad Batch. I have not seen it. Oh! Oh, they, they, okay, all right, all right. This should be interesting. So they were defective, but in a way that's Jerry advantageous. Oh, man, they seem like they're going to be a lot of fun. Whoa, oh, he's got like a Rambo thing going on. They don't look like clones to me. They... 
Oh, they look a lot. They look a lot different. You two were putting down an insurrection on Yavik Prime when your comp came in. Had a few okay. unforeseen complications. Ha ha ha! Ha Only way to kill him is with one of these. Please don't wave it around. Rekka here cut off the Queen's stinger while she was still alive. That's why all those Yavik males tried to eat us. Uh, technically they were trying to mate with us. And for your information, the stinger of a Yalvik queen is a delicacy on some planets. Good they to know. Alright, I can see why this will make a good spin-off show. Because already these are very, very interesting characters. And I like how they're... They, they don't even... Like, I guess their defects or mutations or whatever, like, even cause their appearance to not really, in every case, look exactly like the prototype. You know what I mean? Rags. He's talking about regular clones. Regular clones. Don't take it personal. I'm really liking the Rambo one. Cut the green for the entire separatist campaign here on the Nexus. Okay. I could demolish that with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> He's so into it. Strictly a retrieval operation. And this is all the same guy doing the voices. He's brilliant. Oh no. Crap. He's, see, he, he's, he's loving his life right now. You know, there's something to be said for whistling while you work. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Captain. Rekka, get him out. Get back. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna give Seaman action. He's gonna need help to get Cody out of there. I, I think he... He's gonna get the gunship out of there, not Cody. Oh, his thing is super strong. So we've got crosshairs, which is the shooting, the tech guy, tech stuff, and knowledge, and he's strength. The sky. Did they see what the Rambo guy does? Whoa! <laughs> Such a cool action shot. He's like walking away with the. That's like that's like a common rider shot right there with the f explosions behind. could see like even the way they operate like they don't think like you know regular clones they don't look like regular clones they really have have their their own dynamic i think not that like not to say that all the regular clones do exactly the same thing there's a lot of variety even amongst the the standard clones so i wonder were they like not trained in the same way that standard clones are could that be another difference that like they were kind of given more independence or whatever <laughs> he's he's so on fire oh my god it's just it's they're just they're impossible to resist he's like Ugh. We should move out before we <laughs> He's like a guy souvenir. Just clothes. But using tactics like we have never seen before. Interesting. I like, I like how it's so stroking the whatever this is. Notify me if the incursion escalates. Oh my god. I gotta say. I'm glad to see him back. I'm glad to see him back. It's like one of those things where like the first time you see him, you're like, oh, and then over time, you're just like, yeah. I get what makes the other batches unique. But what's so special about Hunter? You can put up with the other three. <laughs> engineered with heightened senses. I was going to say like he's like sniffing. Hunter. Hunter can feel the electromagnetic frequencies from anywhere on the planet. And here I thought we were smart just using a holo map. Well, Maps can be wrong. Maps can Hunter be wrong. Never is. There's a difference between reading it on a map and feeling it in your body. In there, Cody. <gasps> Cody. But Cody's in the movie, right? We have to move out. Wasn't he? If your plans are so good, why did Commander Cody have to call us in? You can't talk to Captain Rex like that. Says no, who? you can't. Oh. Whoa! Oh! Uh, guys, relax. Oh, We're all on the same side here. Everyone chill. Hey! Uh, oh, guys. see, they're not they're not big on the brotherhood thing, though, you know. 
He's he's the leader though. He's the leader. We're all fighting for the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. Let's not fight. Let's let's not do that. I was thinking we'd take a page from your book. Rush them head off. Bring the fight to them. I like your style. We can adapt! Oh, it's battle droids. Battle droids. After six, now seven seasons, you'd think they would have learned. That one's like, ow. <laughs> Didn't know they like really felt pain. <laughs> uh, I guess they do because they're screaming. Ick. <laughs> battle droids. Is it over already? It's oh, like, come man. on. Not bad. Go forward to that. See, guys, we're not All so right. different. There it is. The other yeah, side knows what on. we're doing. Maybe it's another. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get me in contact with the cyber center at once. Do we know about the algorithm? Droids on alert. An attack is coming. An attack is coming. When? <laughs> <laughs> right now. But if we are dealing with someone or something that knows our style, it would probably help to have a group that like is not. <laughs> Easily, I have another way. You know what I mean, though, because they're not going to be as easy to predict. Oh man, they're at, uh, they're winning me over. They're winning me over big time. Even got like their own music. That's the way he says it, though. <laughs> Here's the algorithm. You're looking for a program. Oh, okay, yeah. Sequence. It's a live signal from another planet. Skako Minor. What? A live signal? A live signal of what? Who? It sounds almost... Almost human. Almost. Can't be. What? What is that? Someone clue me in. What is happening? Don't tell me it really is Echo. Ask who that is. CT I, I don't believe it. CT1409. Don't tell me. I can't remember what his designation was. There seems to be no intel missing, but there appears to have been a connection made with Skako Minor. What? Uh oh! They really don't want us to know about that. CT one four zero nine. That was Echo's. <gasps> I knew it. He's alive. Oh no! Is that, uh, there's no way that could possibly be true that he really is? What if he's? Po oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Whoa! That was so good! Oh my god, I have so much I want to say. Um, first off, I will just really quickly address what happened at the end there. With I had a feeling that I could not remember what his exact, like, numeric designation was, or, uh, you know, alphanumeric, I guess. Um, but man, so that means one of two things. Echo has, like, turned bad or something, survived, and has, like started willingly aiding in these efforts to to harm the clones efforts and the republic's efforts or echo survived but is against his will like they are doing something you know like they they are scanning his mind or something like that i don't know they're doing something to retrieve that information that perhaps is not willing on his part that's what i would probably say is more likely um but man, to think that Echo survived only for a plot twist like this to have occurred. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so I love this episode. I think the animation did look just like a little bit better, um, which was nice. It still really felt like Clone Wars. Like there was no 
it it didn't feel like we were under new management. <laughs> you know what I mean? It still felt like Clone Wars to me, but just subtle little differences of like the slight improvements of like the animation. Um, you know, I feel like the beginning recap had a little bit more transition um, in it. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Like instead of the wipe away, we were like fading away to scenes. Like those are the only two things I really noticed were truly different. And the end theme had more strings in it. I, I know, I know I did not imagine that. I know it sounded different. Um, but other than that, I'd say it's pretty spot on. Like, it feels like we picked right up where we left off. Um, I love the stories where we get to flesh out the clones more. I think it's one of the real just uh, crowning jewels of the entire concept of the series of Clone Wars is that we got to really kind of flesh out their stories a lot better. And, um, you know, by this point, we've lost so much with so many clones that we got to know that starting off with like just looking at the picture and just it just immediately draws you and hits you in the feels. And going on a journey like... Um, exploring the possibility which turned out to be true of echo being alive but being used somehow um for uh for harm against us is it's just a it's just a it's a it's a big drama to start off on. It's a big juicy drama to start off on and I love it. Um, I also love the Bad Batch. I'm guessing they're the stars of the series of the same name. I actually, I actually have no clue. I really don't know any details of the Bad Batch series other than that it's about a quote unquote Bad Batch clones. But the fact they call themselves Bad Batch, I think that's probably pretty indicative that it's it's a spinoff about these characters. And I gotta say, I here for it. Um, it sounded interesting to begin with, but getting to see like the actual characters, I just love what they did because, you know, there is a lot of variation amongst the clones we've gotten to know. Um, but there is kind of this like more or less standard, at least face um, you know, the hairstyle can vary. The personalities do vary an awful lot. That is one really cool thing that we've seen. And we know they kind of focus on that a little bit in the whole arc about Fies, where, like, um, there was some degree of surprise that, like, they had developed, um, a little bit more individuality than maybe they were even originally intended to because of their exposure to, like, the Jedi and people around them and everything experiences. Um, but... I mean, with the Bad Batch, you could see, like, it's on a whole other level. Like, they really do truly feel like very, very individual individuals, um, even in, in look, you know? Like, I did not expect them to um, have deviations even so much in their appearance. Um, so I think that was a really nice touch that, like, uh, the, the face, the, not just, like, the hairstyle, but the face, the body shape, everything, um, varies so much more with them. And I would be interested to know, like, how exactly they were, they might have said this and I just, I, you know, went over my head, um, but I would be interested to know, like, how they were trained, um, <clears throat> you know, compared to these standard clones. Um, because it does seem like even just in the way, like we know the clones have to go through a certain regiment to get to, you know, where they are. Um, was the Bad Batch perhaps given even more kind of, um, f free reign, so to speak? Were they, were they trained differently to the point where like it would really accentuate that those individual differences even more? Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it does seem like just even on, even like, you know, our clones who, um, who still vary quite a bit in personality and everything, there's, we've seen kind of this like big emphasis of, you know, being a soldier, their brotherhood, following the rules, you know, there's certain concepts that are just kind of like, they almost have like sort of a culture of their own um and the the bad batch guys just are totally outside of that like it's 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 just a really interesting um i feel like uh departure even more so from the the dynamic that we've gotten to know with the clones even though like i said like we know that can vary quite a bit as well um so i just loved it what an absolute fire of a way to start off season seven really enjoying it so far cannot wait to see more um 
I can't wait to see where this arc is going to take us because if it's like a traditional Clone Wars arc, the first one's really good and then it just like goes up and up and up as we go on. So I don't know how long this arc is, um, but I'm here for it, guys. I'm so here for it. Um, so yeah, final season so far is looking really, really good. I cannot wait to see where this is all going and I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us in this season. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me today. That was so flipping good. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.